Shots at the back of a gun. Don't, don't shoot yourself and die. Haters are something than pumpkin pie. Out of my body ain't even alive. I find all the phonies and seven the ties. I spit that raw real, but man, this feel good too. I try to chill with all friends, but they're like who brain. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Buffy. Welcome back to a new Pixel Gun 3D video. So, before you go ahead and watch that video, make sure that you like this video. If you want to enter the giveaway that I'll be doing, and basically, that giveaway will be a $25 iTunes card and a $25 Google Play. So, make sure you like this video if you want to enter this giveaway. And I'll pick a winner in like five days, so make sure you guys stay tuned in my channel to know if you won or not. And yeah, let's get right into that video. So in today's video, guys, I'll be telling you the top six, uh, yeah, the top six best weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. I have already done a poll, and most of you guys, you know, uh, voted for the like specific weapons that I'll be representing today. So in the primary, the weapon that I chose, or you guys chose, was the Phantom Shotgun. Okay, the Phantom Shotgun has been really OP and nerfed. I mean, overpowered when the burning effect int was introduced in the game. You guys know the burning effect. This thing is so OP. I'm not even kidding. So this is why I put it on my list. This weapon has a really good actuary, which means it's like you don't even need to like aim that much all you can do is just shoot one bullet at one person and the burning effect is gonna catch him because you know shotguns has like this uh shell thing that when you shoot them there's like one bunch of bullets that shoots too like not one bullet but like 10 bullets or something so this is why i put this weapon on my list it has a really good damage have a burning effect and can take players easily than most of the primary weapons here in the backup, there's actually too many good guns in the backup, but the one that I've actually chose was the Death Star. And why did I choose the Death Star? As you guys might know, the Death Star can take an admin player armor off with just two bullets. So two bullets of the Death Star can destroy someone armor. And that's very good in you know when it comes to backup weapons, two bullets. And his armor is down and then you can finish him off with any other weapon so this is why I chose the Death Star plus that it has an area damage so you know you can shoot in like near a prayer and the cat get him and this is also a very nice weapon that you know I really like it's the dual laser blasters I think this weapons is really nice I mean the fact that they are lasers and they have long range and the damage of them is fine, it's not that bad. And there's also the dual revolvers. Those things are beasts but they are removed from the game. Pixel Gun 3D actually moved the dual revolvers from the game for, you know, no reasons but the dual revolvers are very nice and good damage and like two or three headshots to a player can take him down even though if he have armor on so this is why I think they're also one of the best weapons in the game okay let's get into the melee the melee I don't even play melees that much but there's like that weapon that when I started to use I was like boy that weapon is the shit it's the shit and it was the fire orb the fire orb was also overpowered when the burning effect was added into the game I was like yo you know what the fire orb is one of my favorite melee weapons now I'm not gonna use any other weapon but I'm gonna use the fire orb <laughs> and I wasn't Hold on guys. Yes and you know I wasn't like discriminated by its power I thought it was OP even though its efficiency and attack and mobility is not that good. I mean the attack and mobility is kinda of the same like other other melee but the damage you can see that there are other weapons that has more damage than the Fire Orb, but the Fire Orb can beat any of those weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. And just let you guys know something that you guys not, like don't have to believe 
the efficiency of the weapons in Pixel Gun 3D because most of the time the efficiency of the weapons is just bullshit and it's not even accurate like you can even find a weapon with like 6 efficiency and it can be better than one with 25 efficiency so you know if you want to find a good gun that you want to use in Pixel Gun 3D you should use the one that you are comfortable with and you feel like you know what this is going to be my favorite weapon and this is what I have done with the fire orb uh, I have been using it ever since and I think it's one of the best melees in Pixel Gun 3D let's get into the special in the special there's two many good weapons like the claw I mean the trapper which is like one shot kill and the laser bouncer too and wait there's like one that I really like where is it yes the acid can I really like that one <laughs> but the one that I have actually chosen was the pet dragon and you guys may be like buff why is all your weapons have the burning effect like tell me why why all of them have the burning effect because the burning effect is just so OP guys imagine you using a weapon with three burning effects you know this is gonna be insane like you can burn people twice i mean three i mean triple times which is so amazing and the pet dragon it's like have a really high fire rate like you guys can see the fire rate of this thing is 98 so so fast you can just go and full up player boo and burn him and he dies the pet dragon can get you killed so fast not even kidding so fast you can get killed with the pet dragon so this is why i started to use it as for the trapper i don't mean it's very nice but it's not my thing i mean i think it's too slow and player can dodge it and it's not that effective in small maps so this is why i go with the pet dragon but it's also a very nice weapon as for the laser bouncer, this is like a sniper, you need to have an accurate aim in order to get a kill. So, you know, I don't like slow weapons or accurate weapons. I just like my thing to be fast and have OP damage. So this is why I go with the pet dragon. I didn't choose neither the trapper or the laser bouncer because they are slow. As for the sniper, for me, I'm not that guy who uses lots of snipers, so, you know... Ugh. So I don't know much about snipers because I don't use them that much but you know there's only two legends that people love here it's the prototype or the anti-hero rifle I mean both of them are really good and kind of have the same damage like this one has single shots will break and this one is like this one has 10 times zoom so it's kind of better than the prototype so if you guys want to go with a sniper that you won't regret of buying I'd be like, oh shit, why did I buy that sniper so bad? Uh, I suggest you to go with the anti-hero rifle. These two weapons has been dominating all, all the snipers since they were added. <laughs> I mean, the Pixel Gun 3D keep adding new snipers like the Phantom Sniper Rifle. But they are not even that good in my opinion. Um... So this is why I just stick to the anti-hero rifle or the prototype when it comes to me using snipers. And let's get into the premium now. In the premium, there's lots of good weapons in the premium. I'm not even kidding. There's lots of good weapons in the premium, such as the big body. The big body is removed, so you guys cannot buy it. So I'm going to not be adding it into that list because you cannot buy it and oh, what else we have here yes we have the smart ball bazooka we have the kaboom and what else we have i think there's one more that's so good you guys and what is it what is the toy bomber yes <laughs> but in here what weapon did i chose i chose the ghost lantern i know that there's lots of people who hate on the ghost lantern because it's just too overpowered it's just too overpowered but guys that weapon is so fun when it comes to using it if you have that weapon or you want to buy a weapon from the premium section that you won't regret on buying and it's gonna get you lots of kills and coins on the same time then go with the ghost lantern even though there's like bunch of people that hate on that weapon because 
We're like, dude, that was just so OP. It just ruined the game for us, blah, 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 blah. You know, those people who keep making excuses about the game. <laughs> but it goes Lantern. I think it's one of the best weapons, the premium section right now. I think it's like the top one in the premium section. It has a one-shot kill for any kind of player, even if you're using an admin armor or even yes even if you have a full admin armor it's gonna take him down <laughs> and plus that can take like five players at the same time with just one single bullet so this is why i also think it's so uh, cool and you can easily see that the ghost lantern is used in small maps because small maps has small gatherings which means like more kills but when it comes to using Ghost Lantern in big maps, I don't think it's that much easy to use it in, uh, you know, small maps. But yeah, guys, um, this is my the end of my video. This was my top 5, 6 best weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. Let me know uh, your guys, uh, your favorite 6 best weapons and let me know down below uh, so I can read them and see what you guys think the top six weapon is uh, anyways oh my god I just woke up today like I just woke up like uh, three minutes ago and the first thing I had on my to-do list was to make a video because I haven't done a video in like two days so <laughs> I'm trying to make videos as much as I can um, anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and peace out and have a good day peace